Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkle. Hello. And we're going to talk about how the strike is going to be good for superhero fatigue. Okay, because we get a break. We get a break from the crap. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. This is actually coming from the rap. They said this is good because now the studios can rethink their, their content strategy for these boring ass superhero movies and maybe they'll make them better. So... They'll get rid of the ones no one's going to care about and rethink the ones they might. Yes. Yeah. They're like, this might be a good thing. Instead of slamming superhero movies out every year, maybe they can actually take a breather and think about what they've done and yeah, actually think about what they've done reflect. and actually put a little thought into these movies going forward. Uh, again, according to the rap. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo. Uh, I think we're going to talk about the Blue Beetle here first because that is kind of uh, another another uh, 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 box office blunder for mm -hmm. DC. Um, not making a very good case for slamming these movies out every couple of months. Nope. Now, the people that have seen it, I've heard it's actually not that bad. Okay. But they're blaming superhero fatigue. Superhero fatigue really? on this I, failure. I blame the, the previews I, and, you know, certain directors' attitudes towards people and other things. Yeah. Uh, uh, slamming Batman in your, your first trailer is not a good is not a good look. Uh, I think a lot of people weren't happy about that, and the director running at the mouth, again, I think caused some some damage, but uh, it didn't do very well. It did not do as bad as they thought it was going to do. They thought it was going to be 12 to 17 million, but it did, it did come in at like 25 million. So it did twice as much as the the lowest estimate. Yeah, so it got okay. like a D minus instead of an F, okay. pretty much. But now, again, to be fair, haven't seen it. People said it's actually not a bad movie. It just, uh, you know, people are just, they're done. I think a lot of people are done with DC anyway because, the, you know, they kicked Henry Cavill to the curb and uh, James Gunn's coming in and they're rebooting the whole thing anyway and people just don't care. Yeah, they I mean, care. they used to be events and you had to, you felt like you had to go to every one, but now the event movies are the ones that are, are not the norm, like the Barbie, Barbie or the Oppenheimer or the Mario Brothers or the, you know, Sound of Freedom. Those are the ones people are going to see. Instead of the superhero movies, because they're like, um, I don't care anymore. It's the same movie, just a different character. So, so, so the must-see event movies for this summer. Just to, look, to put this in perspective, uh, instead of superhero movies, people are turning up to go see uh, a movie about the guy who invented a bomb which killed a ton of people. Okay, and, or Barbie and, fighting the patriarchy, or Barbie fighting the patriarchy, or or a movie about uh, uh, child sex trafficking. Is that well, what? yeah, child trafficking. They use it for organs and stuff too. Oh, okay, yes. not okay. Um, wow. Okay, so those are the must see. So people are choosing to see movies like that over superhero movies. Yes, that's wow. Mm -hmm. You know how far we've fallen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sounds like a good time, a good time for all. So yeah, this is coming from the rap. Uh, the strike delays might be good for ailing superhero movies. Now, the funny thing about this is uh, I'm sure the writers that are slamming out Disney Plus uh, crap probably vehemently disagree with the rap's take on it. But they're like, yeah, there's just too much crap. There's too much well, crap. There's too much crap. That's a, that's a problem. That's why the studios are cutting back on the amount of movies they're going to green light. They're cutting back on the budgets and then trying to spend money where they, you know it makes sense. That's why they're, they're, they're rethinking so many things and, and they're pulling back on streaming because there's a lot of crap. Well, speaking of that trafficking movie, right? Top tier examples of, of these movies underperforming include Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, being among this year's biggest grossing films. However, the other four out of six Marvel or DC movies released thus far this year will each take in less domestically than the 178 yep. million earned by The Sound of Freedom. Yeah, are they allowed to say that now? Because they're when, allowed to when say the movie it now, was yeah. out, you know, I mean, it's still out in some places, but when it was out the most, they wouldn't talk about it. It was like the movie that shall not be named because some people decided it was that, you know. Yeah, you weren't allowed to show it in theaters. You weren't allowed to talk about it online. If you even mentioned the movie online, you were you were QAnon, you know, oh, know. tinfoil hat, something. Yeah. So uh, I personally don't have any interest in seeing a movie that, that is that uh, depressing uh, sounding. But that's well, just. Interestingly, they told they, they mentioned above that 
and I agree with this because with my kids, I can tell you, Gen Z is the main theater going demographic and they don't care about superheroes. No. Like the millennials and the Gen Xers. And that's true. They they didn't grow up with the comics. They didn't grow up with the cartoons. They grew these, up with the movies. Yeah. And they're tired of them. Well, I think that is that. We've already been through them. Now you're just replacing everybody. And it's like, yeah. we well, already saw it once. Yeah. We already I, did it's this. pretty much all coming out to be the same story when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, so the major studios behind comic book movies can take the strike delays as an opportunity to sort out how to continue on the other side. Well, Disney needs to figure out how much of its resources should go to Marvel. DC has to reinvent the brand. Yeah. The strikes grant Disney's MCU wish. Uh, so this is a thing, you know, we talked about this and we, we've got another video talking about uh, strikes. I don't know which order we're going to run them in today, but, but the studios wanted this. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, because they knew that they had too much. They need to shrink it down. Yeah. So this gives them a reason to pause productions, cancel productions, rethink things, fire writers that are a pain in the ass. You know, this they wanted this. They knew they they done effed up, right? And they wanted the, they wanted the strikes. Marvel helped make Disney King of the Hill. But even Disney CEO Bob Iger has suggested the comic book fair is delivering diminishing returns. Mm -hmm. He was saying it before the the pandemic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Disney is getting some religion in terms of making fewer Marvel films and shows noted a top distribution executive. Uh, So we're saying that they found Jesus. Apparently. The sound of freedom. Is that? No, they they, basically what he said was, you know, they're overspending and there's too many. So they're going to cut down the amount. They were going quantity over quality, and it bit him in the ass. During Iger's recent CNBC interview, the CEO declared that the increase in Marvel movies and Disney Plus shows diluted focus and attention. No, he's no kidding. Disney told the rap that Anthony Mackie's Captain America Brave New World has finished principal photography. I don't think anybody's going to care. I don't think anybody's going to care. It's basically a... Uh, a movie based on a Disney plus show that people didn't really care about because it wasn't Steve Rogers. No. And then they're going to talk about Deadpool three. That's the one they might care about Thunderbolts. Nobody, cares. nobody's going to care. Uh, blade pushed pause prior to the labor stoppage. Cause I think it's probably garbage. The first two blade movies with Wesley Snipes are classics mm-hmm. and you're not going to be able to top it. No. Uh, Loki completed its second season in time for an o- or October debut. And in- Loki's their one shot at having a good uh, turnout for a Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Yeah. So Daredevil was in the middle of shooting when this happened. Uh, Disney can use the strike delays to decide whether they will make fewer and cheaper MCU theatrical releases. I think they need to do fewer. Cheaper? Well, here's the thing. If you stop like having to reshoot everything... Stop. I mean, the pandemic delayed things, which ran costs up, but you're overspending on the wrong things. And then meanwhile, the special effects don't get finished. You know, yeah. maybe hire competent writers who don't actively hate the source material. There's a thought. So they're saying that uh, DC, they basically were reacting to Marvel. And the reason they were crapping out as many movies as mm. they were and, and rushing to get the Justice League together. I believe that was to try to compete with Marvel and it didn't work. And now they're like, well, you know, but the, the movies that were the best received were the standalone movies that didn't have a connection to the DCEU Joker and and the Batman Mm -hmm. did pretty good. So they could basically just, you know, take a breather and try, but they're already going all in on the all new, all different Superman by James Gunn with like a whole bunch of villains, right? Like D list villain. Nobody cares about. And they're going to get so. Oh, and and the blue beetle is going to be important in the new DCEU. Yeah. Good luck with that. Mm hmm. 25 million at the bottom. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Uh, they said Sony is just waiting out the strikes. Uh, they said that Craven the Hunter is the looks, only clear cut. doesn't look good. Cash. Sorry. Huh? doesn't look it good. It doesn't look good. Yeah. It moved from October 2023 to Labor Day 2024. Nobody wants this movie. Remember mm-hmm. Morbius? Yeah, of course mm-hmm. you don't. It looks like more of that. It's yes. more Morbius. That That's it. So, yeah, they're saying that some of these movies are probably just going to get canceled. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. So, I look, I same with the uh, Spider, Spider-Man Spider Beyond the Spider-Verse, the third uh, Spider-Verse movie. They don't know what's going to happen. Because, yeah, but at least that one, they have time to finish it. Because before, they were just, like, rushing the animators. And it was, like, all kinds of horror stories came out about that one. Yeah. So, that one, people were saying, don't expect it before, like, 2026 or 2027. I think people were okay with that, with that one. Because if they let people, the artists, you know, be able to get it done and done fairly and and not push through the gauntlet they pushed them through last time, I think most people would support that. 
But the yeah. superhero movies, and sadly, the ones that are already done are the ones that are going to suck. And they'll probably cancel the ones that might be good because they haven't got very far in them. And So I, I got to wonder if they're not going to take a look at this and be like, you know, we weren't thinking about resetting the MCU during, you know, with uh, Secret Wars. But now that we're taking a good hard look at it, like, yeah, let's just get to Secret Wars, hit the reset button. But I'm like, if, if you crank out more crap, you're going to get the same diminishing returns, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. But they're going to. And like I said, because right now we know the ones that are that are close to being done or done are ones that people don't give two shits about, aren't going to do well. And then they're going to put those ones out. And except for a couple, they're probably not going to do well because they were never going to do well to begin with. And then the ones that could have done well are the ones they hadn't done yet. So, you know what I'm saying? The takeaway is going to be kind of skewed. So I have to wonder, though, you know, if if the worst case scenario isn't. We take a breather. We have some other movies come out that actually perform that didn't cost as much as these superhero movies. And then we just take a good hard look at. We're like, you know what? Let's just not make any more of these. Yeah, I, that's what I think they should do. I think they should not spread do them anymore. out a hell of a lot. Remember they used to be like one every year, every couple of years, and it was great? Go back to that. And in the meantime, make other films. Make new things. Do Try try other things that might bring people to the box office. Because superheroes are not doing it anymore. Unless it's like really, 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 really popular ones like Guardians. And even then they didn't break a billion. But it still did pretty well. You need, you need that. Like Loki's going to do well on Disney+. Plus. Deadpool 3 will do well. But a lot of these other ones, they're not. I'm sorry. No, and and this has happened before. So back in the 80s, I mean, we had a resurgence in interest in superheroes with the Superman movies in the Mm -hmm. 70s and early 80s. And then Superman jumped the shark. You Mm -hmm. know, it it was really bad. Uh, Three and four, not good. And then nobody cared about superhero movies until Batman came out in 1989. And then Batman jumped the shark. And then nobody cared about superhero movies until the X Men came back. It was <laughs> kind of yeah, right. Uh, it was kind of the X Men was kind of a hit, and then that sort of paved the way for Spider Man to finally finally get a movie because mm-hmm. they you know Spider Man was in limbo for years and they finally brought Spider Man out and then that paved the way for the MCU. Well, yeah, and the MCU, MCU. Let's talk about it. They started out with like what made them big was like Iron Man and stuff and, and characters that weren't like. The most well-known. Because they were the leftovers. Ba- basically, what happened, for those of you who don't know, back in the 90s, back in the 80s and 90s, the most popular comics, Marvel comics, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, mm-hmm. and X-Men, especially X-Men. And the uh, the rights to those got sold off because Marvel desperately needed cash. Yep. So they kind of split the rights up, not thinking anything would really happen. And then it was like, oh, my God, Spider-Man's a big deal. The X-Men movie did pretty good. What do we got left? Oh, yeah, Iron Man and Captain America and uh, the Hulk. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what we can do they with did the did it well, and then Disney yeah. came in. Yeah, and now Iron Man and Captain America are as well-known as Spider-Man, which right, is crazy. Right, right, but uh, Iron Man especially. And it's just like they did it. They had a plan. Disney followed the plan. And now that the plan's up, now Disney's left their own devices, Marvel, and now they're like dropping the ball right and left. Well, it wasn't their plan. That's, That's the thing. what I'm saying. That's yeah. like, you know there's a pattern here. Yeah. When it's they keep acquiring things that aren't theirs. They don't know how to handle it. They follow it out to a certain point, if at all, because George Lucas. And then they're like, why is it all falling apart? I don't understand. Yeah, George Lucas gave them a blueprint for seven, eight, and nine that Perhaps was they wish to God they'd listen now. Yeah, they said they were gonna follow the blueprint and uh, they didn't do it, and now we're just getting all kinds of you know, half-assed fan fiction and it's all over the place and Disney can't do anything other than Disney and Disney can't even Disney properly now because they're, they're too busy trying to put out these other forest fires, you know? And, uh, so yeah, I, I think, I think this is it. I think we're going to reach this tipping point within the next couple of years. And it's going to be like, yep, yeah, we're going to go back to getting a superhero movie every couple of years because they're not profitable. You can't lose the amounts of money that the flash lost. Uh, uh-uh. You know, and and start you know, and Quantum Mania lost, and keep cranking these right. Movies and out. they're even saying that the, the the upcoming generations that are going to be your new focus, they're not interested in it. So they're over it. They're, so yeah, time to move on. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're going to strip mine video games and anime. That's exactly what they're going to do now. That's what yes. they're going to do. Yes. So let's wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.